Take-Two today reported the results of its first fiscal of 2017, which ended on June 30th, 2016. Thanks to Grand Theft Auto V and GTA Online, it was a relatively successful quarter for the company, though it still experienced a loss. I'm Dave, and welcome to your Please Just Give Us Red Dead Redemption 2 Already GS News Update. GAAP net revenue was on the rise during the quarter, growing 13% to $311.6 million compared to the $275.3 million during the same period last year. Take-Two identified GTA 5, GTA Online, NBA 2K16 and Battleborn as its main contributors. Although CEO Strauss Zelnick noted in a conference call with investors that Battleborn did not perform as well as expected. Digital net revenue was also up for the quarter, from $154 million last year to $172.1 million this year. Similarly, what Take-Two calls recurrent consumer spending, things like DLC and virtual currency, was up 18% year over year, accounting for 31% of the company's total net revenue. Take-Two noted that GTA Online had record bookings, but didn't specify exactly how much money it generated. As part of its earnings, Take-Two also revealed that the console versions of XCOM 2 had been delayed slightly. They will now launch on September 27th in North America and September 30th internationally. It also touched on Rockstar's next projects, albeit as vaguely as it possibly could. It stated Rockstar Games is also hard at work on some exciting future projects that will be revealed soon. So what would you like to see from Rockstar next? Let us know in the comment section below or find me on Twitter at Dave. And for everything GTA, make sure you stay tuned to GameSpot.com.